Hey, what's going on everyone? Fresh back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick and easy way of being secure when you're honestly on the internet in general, but primarily if you're going on the deep web slash dark web. Now, before I start this video, I don't recommend you go on the deep web or dark web unless you absolutely have to. <clears throat> and don't go on for fun, that's for sure. Unless you know what you're doing, of course. Um, the deep web and dark web can be very, very, a very, very good learning place, but it also has a lot of bad stuff on there, which I'm sure most people know if they're watching this video. So just please take caution if you go on there and hopefully my tutorial will help you guys stay anonymous. So yeah, let's get into it. All right. So let me show you guys the first few steps into becoming more secure on the deep web. Now, this is my personal method. There's a few ways you can do it, of course. And um, they all work very well. But let me just, again, show you all my personal um, opinion slash method that I use to go on the deep web. Now, the first step you'll need if you want to be secure is you need to download v um, VM VirtualBox. Or you could do VMware. It's up to you. Uh, this is the URL to download it. I'll put in the description. Pretty easy to download. When you download it, you'll get this. Um, let me get it real quick. Here we go. I already have a Windows one, but I'm not showing you guys that one. This is just uh, what it looks like after you download it. And after you download it, go to the website hunix.org. Now, what is Hunix? Let's talk about that for a second. If you guys know what Linux is, which if you don't, just Google it. It's not that hard to figure out. Um, Hunix is pretty much the opposite of Kali Linux, which Kali Linux is based off of offensive attacks, so like hacking, for example. It's what a lot of hackers, or at least beginner hackers, use to get an understand of like pen testing or like just security in general, or like really anything when it comes to networking. For Unix, on the other hand, is like the operating. It's like the op. Like I just said, it's the exact opposite of Kali Linux for for the most part. Its primary purpose is for defense, so it is much more resistant when it comes to like hacking attacks on your operating system. It's not a common operating system that most hackers look for when they're trying to get into a target that use Windows or something like that, or even certain Linux. But yeah, because Hunix doesn't have nearly as many exploits as Windows does, because it's not re even looked at that much versus Windows, which is the most common operating system in the world, it's much more secure. And I'll show you guys more um, of how it's secure. But first, you gotta download it. So it's pretty easy. Just go to the website, press free download, and I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it. And while you come on here, you're gonna have to choose between two options. Um, this one you should just install, even if you're not a beginner, just because it's easier. Just press it, and then press that again, and then you get it. So I already have Hunix downloaded, so let's go right now. Now, <clears throat> unlike most virtual machines you gotta manually put like uh what you want like you gotta manually like label the machine what you want you gotta specify what kind of machine it is but with tunix it pretty much does everything for you it's kind of like a windows application it's very very simple to install now the only thing i really do when it comes to installing it is i change where um <clears throat> I change where my download goes, which I'm going to post it here because my D drive has a lot of room over 400. Now, I would definitely recommend at least 50 gigabytes just to be on the safe side. Actually, nah, screw it. 30 gigabytes at the very minimum um, on your hard drive to install Hunix because it's definitely over 10 and 30 just seems like a good like safe spot for it. So make sure you have some like just a little bit of storage just to be on the safe side. And now let's import it, agree to everything. And this will take about, I'd say a minute and a half. So yeah, let's just cut right to when it's done. All right, it's done. So yeah, it took about a minute and a half, minute and a half to two minutes, I'd say. It, so when you're installing this whole thing, you're gonna have to install multiple, uh, there's gonna be multiple installations on here that you're just gonna to have to be patient for. I'm just warning everyone ahead of time. So please be patient when installing that. 
So yeah, now that we have this in our virtual box, we actually have two virtual machines that were downloaded, not just one. Now what the workstation is right here, this is what we pretty much use. This is the virtual machine we use for pretty much everything. We uh, go on the internet with it. You can download files, do whatever you want, honestly. It's your desktop. Now this, on the other hand, this, the virtual, I mean, sorry, the workstation connects to the gateway right here. And what the gateway does is it connects to a proxy, which, um, which disguises your IP address so that you're more secure, your IP address is safe. And um, yeah, you can actually, um, you can also, if you have like your own proxy or like a network that you want to connect to, you can go into the proxy settings and change it yourself. But by default, it will, um, it will ask if you want to connect to Tor. And if you don't have a spare proxy, just connect to Tor, honestly, because it's better than nothing. So now let's load both of them up, shall we? You have to have them both running at the same time for it to work. Or else you're not secure. There we go. Out of there. That's loading up. Now let's just be a little patient for a minute. This uh, It'll probably take a few minutes for this all to uh, finish loading. So yeah. Okay, now it looks like both machines are uh, done loading for now. We have to agree to the terms of service to use Hunix. So let's just agree real quick. Finish that off. You have to do it with both of them. Pretty simple, as you can see. Just check it off. And, okay, so with this one, if you don't have another proxy, just connect to it. Simple as that. Let it load real quick. Should only take a second. And let's finish that off. So, the installation, or the loading, it, it takes... And we have the second uh, loading screen right here while we're connecting to the Tor network. You're gonna have multiple, like, it's not really loading stages, but you just gotta be patient for the whole virtual machines, like for both virtual machines to like come together and all that. Um, and it takes a few minutes for sure. So just make sure you're patient because trust me, it's worth it for your privacy. And uh, yeah, let's wait until this all finishes, shall we? Okay, so it looks like everything's fully done. Now let's move on to the next step. Let's update everything real quick, just for security's sake. Now the command that I'm using is sudo apt get update sudo apt that get dist upgrade. A little bit of a long command, but it's necessary. And then the password, the username and password actually, but you only need the password in this case. The username is user, password is change me by default. You can always change it, but that's the default. It's that easy. And then you press yes. It's it's a pretty big update, just heads up. So this is gonna take at least 10 minutes. It probably will take more, especially if this is uh, your first time using Hunix and updating it. It's gonna take at least 10 minutes. So make get a cup of coffee or something. And after you update it over here, update it over here as well because um, this virtual machine right here, which um, connects you to a different network, it's just as important as the workstation. So let's run the command one more time in here. sudo apt-get update sudo apt, oops, apt-get dist upgrade my, Typing is very poor today. Do that and then change me. And press yes. And now we play the waiting game. We let both of these update and I'm gonna get some coffee and I will be back when it is done. All right, now everything is updated and we are done and we can go on tour now. Pretty nice. So I'm again going to put the commands for everything to run in the description just to make it convenient for you guys. So let's take a look at this now. It's actually pretty nice. There's um, This is Tor, of course. Let's do a quick IP check just to show that it's legit. And obviously this is not my IP address, even though you guys don't know what my IP address is, unless you're some kind of like good hacker. Um... But yeah, 
So this is uh, the fake IP address, so we're secure when it comes to that. And also with Tor, real quick, I'm not going to do any of this stuff because I'm kind of lazy, honestly. And because I'm not trying to get like into any kind of... I'm not trying to really do anything I'm not supposed to, you know? But you can go into your settings on Tor and you can always like adjust your security settings and all that good stuff, you know? And um, the only thing I'll actually do is I'm going to do that. Just an example. Uh, yeah, you could do all kinds of stuff with it, which is pretty nice. But of course, you can do this also on the Windows version of the Tor browser. But yeah, so, I mean, I really only use Tor on here. I don't actually go into any of this other stuff. You can obviously do other stuff on here. It's it's an operating system for a reason. There's a whole bunch of like programs and all that that you can use, but I haven't touched any of this stuff, so I, I'm not going to say I know what any of this actually is. This is basic operating system stuff. So, <clears throat> so anyway, um, let's actually test some of this. Uh, stuff out shall we let's uh go on the deep web for a little bit and just, nothing serious let's just have some fun with it you know so another cool feature real quick which i'm gonna add i'm i went on reddit real quick and i'm just looking at some random sites and here's some like uh search indexes and all that that we can look at and look at this so normally with virtual machines at least with VirtualBox, you need to go in your settings and enable where you can copy stuff from windows or your home base operating system onto your virtual machine operating system but on here it's done for you it's very nice and easy let me show you boom copied that this link from here there it may not seem like a big deal but trust me anyone who uh plays with virtual machines knows this yeah we're right now on a we're technically on the deep web right now which is pretty nice. So yeah, this is the safest way, in my opinion, of going on the deep web. Now, obviously, there's other operating systems you can use, like Tails, for example. But this is my preferred operating system to use. And I'm going to be real with you guys. This it's pretty it's pretty easy to set up, and people probably won't try and hack you as long as. And please listen to me. Listen to my very educational words of wisdom. As long as you don't piss anyone off online. That's right. Any stories you hear, that's just people being stupid. Like, a lot of the stories are just stupid people going on the deep web saying that, Oh, I went on this, I don't know, I went on this drug site and then I threatened to snitch on the owner. And then he started hacking me and he came to my house or something like that. As long as you, you're not stupid and retarded like those people. You should be fine, though, if you ever go on the deep web. But, yeah, I pretty much showed you everything I know. And um, I might make a video showing off uh, me going on the deep web, all that. Because it's pretty, it's a very interesting place to go on, to say the least. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And um, if you want me to go on the deep web, let me know. And I might just consider it. I will see you guys later.